Ghosts and goblins will be all over town this weekend, so it's important to keep safety in mind. And today, Fargo Police Officer Nick Powell Calhoun joins us to talk a little bit about the, well, let's say maybe the tricks or treats that will be happening this weekend. We want to keep our kids safe. Is there a trick or treating? Uh, what are some of the important reminders for parents as uh, everyone gets all caught up and lost in the, uh, the costumes? Are there a few things that you would tell parents to do or think about before they let their kids go out? I would definitely tell parents to be mindful of where their kids are at all times. Keep them in line of sight if possible. Only stay in neighborhoods you're familiar with in case they do run away. I'd urge them not to enter anyone's house unless everybody knows who they are. And another thing is to take a picture of their outfit if we remember to. In the case of emergency, then you'll have at least the last known outfit that they're wearing so we can have the proper tools we need to try to locate them later on down the road. Yeah, as a parent, well, I know my child was, you know, a goblin or a pirate or, mm -hmm. but all of a sudden when you're in that moment of stress, what did that uh, pirate costume look like? Right. It's not something that has been in your closet besides for the last couple of weeks. Right. Also, when the kids are running around and, you know, they're so excited when they're getting candy, mm -hmm. some reminders for drivers as well. I'd say for drivers to pay attention as much as they possibly can, more than normal. Treat it like a school zone. Just anticipate somebody running out and jumping in front of you. Anticipate there being a lot of people at a crosswalk waiting to cross and maybe drive a little slower than you normally do, just given this one day to do that. So yeah, just be mindful of their stature. They're a little shorter, so you don't you won't see them as easily either. So yeah, those little kids. And a lot of times the costumes are dark, right. so it's a good idea to put some kind of refle reflective. Uh, you know, sometimes they have those glow sticks that you break. Do you recommend uh, you know parents think about that and put something like that on their child? Yeah, I'd recommend glow sticks or the reflective shoes, or that's the day they can wear their light up shoes, things like that. Anything that's eye catching that would be increase their safety and visibility. I mentioned in the break too, I think we're talking about the little kids. We should also talk about the big kids because when it comes to we dressed up and it's Friday, I'm yeah. guessing Friday, Saturday and Sunday, you're right. going to see a lot of people uh, doing Halloween parties, maybe at the bars. Uh, do you see an increase of people kind of running around on a Halloween weekend? Holidays do increase the types of calls that we do take. And with that in mind, I'd urge people who are going to partake in festivities to be as responsible as they possibly can. With that, have a designated driver or maybe just not attend an event sometimes or plan ahead as much as you possibly can. Okay. And if you need help, try to get help as sooner the better. Because so. you guys will be on patrol. I mean, yes. downtown Fargo, yes. uh, as well as the residential neighborhoods mm -hmm. as well for those kids. Oh yeah, 100% we're there. What kind of calls do you typically see an increase in on holiday weekends, like Halloween weekend? Usually in the evening hours, it's loud party calls or disturbances or disagreements between people that escalate further than we'd like them to. So, uh, Keeping the uh, kids safe, could we go back to the candy yeah. as well? It's uh, important still for kids or for parents, I was going to say, to check the candy? I'd say yes, check the candy if you can. Make sure it's names you recognize, labels you recognize, make sure that the wrappers are fully closed and everything like that. And also don't forget to tax your kids. Okay. Well, officer, thank you so much. Good reminders. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the parties, and they're going to start tonight, tomorrow, yeah. and uh, of course on Sunday with all of the uh, kiddos out trick or treating as well. So thank you so much. Thank Great Halloween reminders. Me. Stay with us. Coming up next, if you haven't tried axe throwing, now's your chance with our VNL Deal of the Week.